how to tap into your dark feminine energy. <laughs> I wanted to talk about this topic because it's potent. It's transformational. It's the thing that will allow you to literally attract whatever it is that you desire with ease. And I want that for you. I don't want you to go into this new year feeling disconnected from this sacred, delicious, mysterious power that literally plugs you into your ability to attract anything with ease, be it men, men with money, okay? Anybody that you desire or be it just like success online, businesses, whatever the case is, your dark feminine energy really is the key. It's the aura, it's the frequency, it's the thing that attracts whatever you want. And there's a reason why people are so captivated by dark feminine energy because naturally you know people get triggered by it they're like oh my god dark feminine energy is bad or dark feminine energy is good and people are attracted to things that feel off limits or feel like they're naughty feel that that feel like it's not a hundred percent okay because truly the dark feminine represents the shadow aspects of femininity the hidden aspects of femininity, the savage aspects of femininity, the seductive, magnetic aspects of femininity, which truly, if we're being honest, dark feminine energy really is, you know, it's almost like saying the same thing because in nature, the moon, the night sky is feminine. Feminine energy is not necessarily supposed to be bright. Feminine energy is about going deep within and embracing yourself at such a beautiful unique level and once you go there it's like you have the world at your fingertips i used to be a woman who felt like she always had to chase after men chase after the things that she wanted and chase after so much but literally when i activated and started to really integrate my suppressed dark feminine energy even when I was a young kid in my teenage years, I mean, I was attracting celebrity teenagers and stuff. I was attracting beautiful, beautiful experiences, like experiences that are not even realistic. I was attracting them. Like, you know how people used to fangirl over certain celebrities. Somehow, after I activated my energy and focused on my own self and stuff of that nature, there goes that person in my DMs, even if I didn't follow them. Like, these are... A-list celebrities. I didn't even look the best back then, but something about my frequency always attracted people. People would say, you're like an enigma, right? And that's a part of feminine energy that is incredibly, incredibly seductive. And I want it for you, sis. I don't want you to go into this new year not plugged into your power. So yes, it's controversial. Yes, it has so much around it. But baby, I'm telling you, the things that are the most controversial and demonized in society are often the things that have the most power and plug us back into our ancient feminine juiciness. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me break this down into clear, clear points. And if you want to dive deeper into this work, check out my course, Psychic Secrets of Seduction. Let's begin. When we think about dark feminine energy, we have this deeply sensual, sexual, it's just like oozing that stuff, right? We think of women like Angelina Jolie or Rihanna or Megan Fox and even Beyonce. It's just this thing, right? There's something about these women that are very very attractive it's very very attractive and it's you can't exactly put words on it but it's an appeal it's an energy and this is what dark feminine energy looks like and feels like when it's activated on a woman vedic astrology would call this energy as Lacia. western astrology would call this energy plutonic right it's that deep thing that just allure it just brings you closer and closer to them this is what dark feminine energy feels like when it's activated on you but here's the first tip when it comes to activating dark feminine energy one stop begging for what you want and demand and command it 
One thing we hear um, in society is this idea of praying. You know, I'm connected to God, I love God, I'm, you know, I'm on my own journey with that, but I'm very much so in alignment with God, right, and I love God. And one thing that I see that religion has brought up is this idea of prayer, like almost like on your knees, begging, 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 and begging, and begging, like, oh, please, I need this, please, I need this money, I need this, need this, need this, need this, I'm begging for it, blah, 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 blah. So if we understand this, on a level of vibration. The law of attraction teaches us that like attracts like. So when we are begging, when we're in a state of begging, we're in a state of lack. We're in a state of scarcity. We're in a state of less than. We're in a state of just like, what are you doing? Like, why are you on your knees begging for something right now? Because it's like you forgot who you are. You are disconnected from your spiritual power because you've spent so much time externalizing your power that you forgot that the power is deep within you. You forgot that you have the ability to create life and not just on a physical plane, but on the energetic plane. You forgot that you can plug into the source of this universe at any time and command what it is you want. When I manifest anything, I do not beg, I expect. And that is the first step for dark feminine energy. When I'm having my moment within myself and in my own space, and I know that I have a desire because I know that the root word of desire is of God, of the stars, of the Father, I know that a desire means that my, my egg is about to be fertilized, baby, so it's on its way. All I gotta do is birth it. I'm not going to sit here and put myself in a less than position. I'm going to say it's already done. And that's that dark feminine power. It's that ability to transform. It's that ability to create and shift things in the way you want to shift it. So you never beg for anything that you want. You expect it to be done. And most importantly, you don't go around screaming it to everybody, and asking and begging people for things. You walk talk and carry yourself like it's already done. It is an expectation. You understand that you are a co-creator of this universe and anything that you manifest. So if you are a co-creator any, of anything that you manifest, spirit and God is also working with you and assisting you and birthing things through you. So I'm tired of women begging and being on their knees and this energy is not even just with manifestation it's in relationships it's in business it's in everything that chasing begging energy you're putting yourself in a position of scarcity and lack but you're wondering why you're not receiving the things you want stop begging start demanding and start expecting if demanding feels scary to you and when i say demand i don't mean go up to your man and say baby i need this Please give it, give this to me or else. No, you're not even going to entertain people who are not ever going to give you what you want in the first place. Okay? <laughs> so that's the first key. Stop with the begging mentality and move into the energy of a goddesshood. Number two, ooze sexuality and sensuality through your skin. Notice how I said through your skin. So... When I say through your skin, I don't mean necessarily only through the stuff that you wear on your body. I don't mean just put on a nice sexy dress and leave it at that. I mean you want it to ooze through your body. And the only way that you have a deep connection to your sexuality is truly if you have a spiritual connection to your sexuality. And I know we weren't taught this, that sexuality is spiritual because we forgot that literally the creator of this universe, the creation of everything is sex. And once you understand that you are a representation, a physical human representation of that divinity, you realize that sex is a way of life. It's a way of being and oozing sensuality is so natural to you as a divine feminine goddess and a representation of the divine feminine that it becomes easy. But let's face it. A lot of us have trauma and shame and guilt around our sexuality. A lot of us feel awkward in our bodies. A lot of us are stuck in jobs where we have to sit all the time and we're never moving our bodies and our hips enough. 
So if you want to tap deeply into your body again you, and your sensuality, you got to move your body. You got to breathe into your body. You got to do yoga. You got to practice flexibility. You got to open up your hips and you need to heal your sexual center, which you can do things like yoni eggs, yoni wands, yoni massages. Um, I talk about this in my courses as well as I lead women through this. Um, journey of connecting with their sexuality because it's like it's the juice if there was ever a secret to effortless manifestation and effortless attraction I mean every single man being attracted to you and he does not know why it is you having a connection to your sexuality that doesn't have to be seen it doesn't have to be like seen you just carry it in your body you can't fake embodiment it is what it is because at the end of the day, even if you want sales online, you want views online, you want people to buy your products and give you a lot of money, you got to ooze it. People are buying your energy. Literally, I have $10,000, $20,000 clients and they tell me, I saw your video and I wanted that. I wanted what you oozed. That energy is high value. That energy is high frequency you can't hide your embodiment and that's what people are going to buy so if you're not getting the sales you're not getting the kind of men you want you're not getting what you want it's because you're not oozing the right energy because there's probably blockages that are stopping it from naturally flowing from you because truth is this is your truth but we've been conditioned to not appreciate that part of ourselves number three Dark feminine energy active beings only will choose men who can provide resources. We are not going to date, sleep, interact, connect with men on a sexual level and even on a relationship or relational level with a man who has no capacity to create wealth. It's savage, call it what you want, but we're just not going to do it. Because we realize and value ourselves so deeply that we understand that if I'm going to give this energy away to somebody and he's going to have energy and he's going to share space with me in my sacred space, I need to make sure my life is good. I need to make sure I'm taken care of, I'm provided for. I'm not about to have your kids and babies and legacy without anything that is going to benefit me. That's going to be a disrespect to myself and my energy. The dark feminine only will associate with people, not, not all, especially on a romantic level, who can provide resources. And resources are mental, spiritual, energetic, and financial. We're savage like that. We're savage like that. We're not going to just do anything with anyone. We have standards, and the standards don't have to be talked about. The standards are embodied. I don't got to go to a guy and say, you don't do this for me. You don't do that for me. Why don't you do this? You should be doing this. Do you know I'm the prize? Do you know I'm the prize? No, I don't have to speak it because I ooze it. I embody it. A guy who don't is not about to do anything for me is not even going to come close to me in my field. And if he does, I'm not going to entertain it. Because my standards are actually embodied. I don't got to talk it. I walk it. A lot of these people out here on the internet, they talk that big talk, but they don't walk that big walk. And the fruits of their life show it. I will only deal with men who can make my life easier. And people can call that selfish. People can call that a gold digger. But if I'm, truth, truth be told, my energy heals. Truth be told, my presence heals. Truth be told, I understand my place in this universe, that nothing of substance can exist without my energy and without my womb and my portal. So I'm not going to continue to allow any and everything to be birthed into this world. I'm selective. Like I said, resources could be a network. He could be a network and do something for me. He could be in business and has money. He can have advice, wisdom, a, a, a helping hand. It's nurture, support, whatever the case is. He has to provide resources, okay? Same with my friends, honestly. Friends, men, people in my life have to provide something of substance. Four, embracing the mystery and the shadow. Dark feminine energy 
is mysterious. There's a reason why people are obsessed with things that they don't understand. There's a reason why at the same time people are scared of the unknown, but they're also so drawn to it at the same time. There's a reason why you had that girl in school who didn't talk to anyone and everyone still talked about her because no one had access to her. Everybody wanted to know who she was because no, she didn't give everybody the access to do so. It was exclusive. If you were to get to know her and her energy, you had to be on a certain level and frequency. This is the energy of mystery. You don't give everybody everything about who you are and what you do and what you think about them and everything like that. You allow other people to reveal themselves to you. A lot of you guys talk, 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 and you don't listen. And sometimes we hear that as demeaning and like, oh, you know, women are supposed to speak and be loud. Of course. But also at the same time, once you learn how to shh, you'll actually start to notice red flags. You actually will start to see who somebody really is. You'll actually start to connect on a deeper level with people because people will feel the intimacy because we're living in a world where people don't really talk. They never feel heard. They never feel appreciated for who they are. So when you as a woman knows how to listen, how to hold presence and space, you know how to hold space and what that really looks like, your energy becomes so high frequency. It is the most delicious thing that's out there. And most importantly, the only way you learn how to really be okay with mystery is being okay with your own shadows. So all of your unprocessed trauma, all of your, you know, jealousy, envy, hurt, pain, fear, doubt. If you've never faced those things within yourself and you're always blaming other people for your problems, it was his fault that he cheated on me. It was his fault that I didn't do this. It was their fault, my mom, my dad's fault. You're always blaming, 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 projecting your issues onto other people and never taking control over your life and your own decisions. You will never sit in this spiritual power of shadow because you're always gonna be looking outside of yourself for the solution. Solution. But the moment that you say, you know what? I'm divine and every single part of me is divine. My light is divine. My dark is divine. Everything in me is divine. That is the moment that nothing can, can, fuck, can fuck with you because you truly love yourself and you can integrate your shadow. The moment that I learned how to integrate my shadow and I saw myself completely, I lit, it was like my spiritual gifts 10 x like I could do some crazy stuff. Like <laughs> I literally could experience like mending elements and stuff and moving elements and stuff like, like it was crazy. But that's the one thing that people are afraid of. People are afraid of looking at their own shadow, your triggers, all that. That's the key to true spiritual development and magnetism. You want, when people feel like you truly love yourself and you integrate and that you're not judging other people because you've already been there with yourself, People will feel so safe with you and you cannot replace it. Men, women, whoever, they once they come in tune with my frequency, they love it because they feel so seen and heard and appreciated. And I don't even have to say a word, but shadow work is the key. Check out my course, Goddess of Worth, how to manifest money with goddess energy. Also, there's this um, beautiful shadow work journal online on TikTok that went viral. I'll link it down below as well. That's a good one. But do the shadow work. And number five, last but not least, look the part. Yeah, look the part. I know I talk a lot about energy and I talk a lot about how our energy affects us and all this beautiful stuff. But what's also important is the look. You see right now, I have this beautiful, shiny dress on. My hair is cute. You know, it's black. I'm wearing red lipstick because I know that this activates my divine feminine and dark feminine energy. Because I feel good. I'm oozing sex appeal. You have to find clothes that brings out the different sides of your feminine energy. And you got to feel confident in it. Once again, it's the body thing. Pick darker colors sometimes, darker hair colors. Experiment with the, your makeup. Experiment with the movement of your body and different things and stuff of that nature. 
experiment with eye contact, but really find outfits that activate that sultry, deep, divine, dark feminine energy, and it will help you step into it at first. And then you continue it with the inner work, okay? So go to the mall, go shopping, and literally try to find outfits that activate your different feminine flavors. Outfits that just make you feel like that beautiful goddess, okay? Look the part, own it. So not only do you feel the part, not only do you project the part outward, not only do you internally feel it, but you also ooze it from your skin and you also got the outfits on. And allow yourself to be like art, like your body is art, your room is art. Put clothes on that, you know, just express whatever it is that you're wanting to express today and if dark if you're being called to this video express that dark feminine energy paint your body like it's a canvas with jewelry and clothes and hair and explore it doesn't have to just be this thing where it's just about attracting the opposite sex or attracting people it's also about you feeling yourself and expressing yourself and loving this body that we're in and embracing the fact that we get to have this human experience where we can decorate ourselves and express ourselves in unique ways. So try your dark feminine flavor. If I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed these dark feminine energy tips, and I hope that you'll actually take these things to the heart and stop just listening to information, but really listen to my energy and listen to this transmission and receive it. And as a matter of fact, I'm setting the intention right now that this video reaches every single woman who needs and wants and who is available to tap deeper into their own magnetic energy that they will get Get and receive any and everything that they desire after hearing this message and receiving this message deeply into their subconscious they will activate their beautiful dark feminine energy they will activate their magnetism on a whole nother level and allow blessings to flow in with ease because that is their truth that is the way that they were naturally supposed to be and right now you are remembering that I activate this in you. We are activating this together in this sacred container. So congratulations, baby, you got it. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and share this with a sister who needs a little bit of juice and who wants help with activating their juice. Comment down below your thoughts on dark feminine energy. I know it can be such a controversial topic, but as a woman who's been doing this work for several years, it is the missing key for so much divine feminine juiciness and it is the missing key of fulfillment and feminine fire and power that is so necessary for manifestation. So make sure you follow me on Instagram for all my updates and if you want access to my events and all kinds of things at It's Baby J and also follow me on TikTok at It's Baby J. All right, peace.